Welcome to our church, to what we want to be, a family of love. Welcome to familiar faces. Welcome to first timers. Welcome to the old and the young and the somewhere in betweens. Welcome to a place of warm friendship, acceptance and fun. Welcome to a space for silence and solitude. Welcome to a place of joy and laughter. Welcome to an encounter with the unchanging, abundant, steadfast love of God. His generous banquet is lovingly prepared with you in mind. Welcome to the silly and the serious, the honest and the pretending, the lonely and the crowded. Welcome to those who need to be held and those who need to be released. Welcome as you are, a precious part of God's family. Welcome to our church. God of the mountains and the sky, of our minds and of our hearts, we look up to you in awe. We reach out to you in longing. We worship you in gratitude. We sing to you in joy. For you are our God, and we are your people, today and always. Amen. May your heart, uh, the first song today is 40 Days and 40 Nights.
The Bible reading is from Luke chapter 4, beginning to read at verse 1. Even verse 4. Then Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan River. He was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days. Jesus ate nothing all that time and became very hungry. Then the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become a loaf of bread. But Jesus told him, No. The scriptures say, People do not live by bread alone. Then the devil took him up and revealed to him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. I will give you the glory of these kingdoms and authority over them, the devil said, because they are mine to give to anyone I please. I will give it all to you if you will worship me. Jesus replied, the scriptures say, you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem to the highest point of the temple and said, if you are the son of God, jump off. For the scriptures say he will order his angels to protect and guard you. And they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Jesus responded, the scriptures also say, you must not test the Lord your God. When the devil had finished tempting Jesus, he left him until the next opportunity came. The uh, uh, idea of spirituality in the Jewish people was very much based around them being part of a community of people being people who uh, shared and lived and worked and their religion and their life uh, was all intertwined into their community. But even in that setting, there was some element of the individual and here in uh, Jesus' uh, beginning of his ministry, uh, we notice the individualism of his uh, spirituality coming out. He goes off on his own to a quiet place to pray. He finds somewhere where he can get alone and be with God. And that balance between being part of a community and being uh, on our own, finding our own way, or finding our own way with God at our side, which is what Jesus is doing. He is finding his own way, knowing that God has been helping him, knowing that God is with him, knowing what God is saying. As we uh, look at the way he refutes the temptations that he has at the end of that time, we can see that he already knows well what scripture says. And we must assume that he knows that well because he has studied well in his earthly life, not because he knew it in his heavenly life, but but we do not know. But to some extent, it would be likely that he has uh, the knowledge of what he does because as part of the community, he would have gone to the synagogue regularly and would have learnt the scriptures. He would have learnt and sat at the feet of others and discussed with them. We see in his early life at the age of 12, him in the temple discussing with great scholars about what the meaning of the Bible, what the meaning of the scriptures is. And that is probably something that he did just as being part of that community. In um, our community at various times uh, in history, the way that you learnt and the way you became educated was by going to a church school, going and learning the scriptures, going and understanding. And you see this still today in uh, some aspects of uh, Islam where the, everybody goes and they spend time learning the Quran. Of course, they have to learn it in Arabic and they need to learn Arabic as they do. But they spend time in school learning. If we had the German confirmation candidates come to be with us this year, which unfortunately we won't, uh, those young people spend two years preparing for their confirmation. 
and trying to get to know what scripture says. But the reality is that it's a lifetime of learning. It's a lifetime of discovering and it's a lifetime of walking with God. And we need to find for ourselves and within the ways we act community, ways of doing that which are effective and good. Ways which enable us to be prepared to live and work as Jesus was preparing himself to do and also to face whatever temptations, whatever struggles, whatever things are in front of us. And that in means that we need to get to know the Bible and any way we can. And one of the ways is to read a little bit every day. And if we need help with that, there are various uh, reading aids that I, I can talk to you about, you can ask me about if you'd like to know more of, or we can find, you can find them on the internet or out there. Although, of course, when you go on the internet, you do need to be a bit careful about whose aid you get, because some of them aren't quite so good as others. Um, but there are things that you can just get to know. Reflecting, pausing, and thinking, trying to engage with what the scripture says, trying to listen to what God is saying to us today, trying to respond and act, because living it is part of learning it. And Jesus uh, was very much part of that, and he had his own personal, or what might be called piety, he had his own personal way of making sure his spirituality developed. But he also then lived that within the community that helped him. Pray that God may help you to find that right balance so that you may be protected from evil and able to live your life to the full. Amen. We're going to have this song which we can use to reflect and to think on how we build our lives on Jesus and what he does for us. For his, it is not only scripture that he teaches us, but it is his life and what he has done for us and his spirit that speak to us. So we have, my hope is built on nothing less. And if you know the song, you might want to join in singing it, otherwise you can just listen to it. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. No merit of my own I claim, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the Son, So we have this prayer of commitment and I think maybe we could pray it all together. Living God, creator and sustainer of the world, 
we pledge to live well and with humility, in harmony with your creation. We pledge to look to your Son for truth and guidance. We pledge to make time for prayer and to be open to your Holy Spirit. We pledge to read your word and to be guided by the example of your Son. We give you our lives to be transformed as we worship and adore you. And we thank you for your love. Amen. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purpose of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us admit our failures and weaknesses. If you join in at the end of each of these phrases with the forgive us and nourish our vision. God of all creation, forgive us when we lose perspective and our world shrinks to our size, not yours. Forgive us and nourish our vision. Forgive us when we look away from you, when we feel empty and grasp what is not ours to take. Forgive us and nourish our vision. Forgive us when the choices we make are self-centered and we are indifferent to the needs of the wider community. Forgive us and nourish our vision. God of all, you transfigure our smallness with your greatness. You unlock our limitations with your grace. You calm our confusion with your faithfulness. You forgive our mistakes with your generosity. You inspire our dreams with your love, enabling, empowering, and encouraging us to serve you and your whole creation with all we are and all we have. So be it. It's done. Amen. We pray for our world and its people. O oh God, to those who exercise power, to decision makers in politics, business and industry, to those who have wealth, to all whose lives affect the life, lives of others, grant wisdom and compassion. Have a moment's silence to pray for the needs of our world at this time. God, to the vulnerable and the weak, to those with little or nothing, to those subject to the will of others, and to the very young and the very old, grant wisdom and compassion. Again, we have time of silence to pray. O oh God, to us as we look at what we have, to us as we consider what to do, to us as we relate to the world, and to us as we seek to be faithful to you, grant wisdom and compassion. Amen. And we pray this version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Dad in heaven above, let everyone look up to you and the area where you are in charge grow. May what you want happen on earth as perfectly as it does in heaven. Please give to us what we need for today. Forgive us when we think or do wrong things, just as we don't hold it against those who hurt us. Guide us away from whatever we might want, but is unhelpful to us. And protect us from all that is nasty and destructive. For you are in charge of everything. You have the power to do it. And you are awesome. You always were, you are now, and always will be. Amen. Our final song is In Christ Alone. Again, do join in or just listen to it as you feel fit.
In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my soul. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When fears are still, when striving cease, my comforter. We pray together. Lord Jesus, may we see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. So may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and all whom you love this day and evermore. Amen.